Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. In the last episode, we beat the boss of Parsley Woods, and we almost made it to the top of Syrup, Ta Syrup Castle. I almost wanted to say, say Syrup Tower right there for some strange reason. Ugh. We have one more treasure to go. Guess what? It's gonna be here, course number 39. All we have to do is just, well, get some power-ups and hopefully be able to find it. And we have Skirgoons around here. Rather lame first line of the fence, I know, but I'll we'll take what we can get for easy coins and whatnot. And Bullzot. Oh, wow. Okay, you know what, I'll take it. We also got birds flying around in here. But aside from that and the spear goons, that's pretty much all we're dealing with here. Those middle middle set of bricks I wouldn't have gotten without without the without the bull, bull hat. And the next sort of, next bunch of stuff I wouldn't get without it either. Such as all these coins here. But there is even more. And in this case, it's another heart, which I will definitely want to use. Can I get a three-hit combo here? I probably could. Yes. Yes, I can. And there's nothing up there. Second room, we gotta be careful as we just crawl through here. Wanna stop and wait. This is the only place where you'll really have to stop and wait, after the second set of ceiling spikes. And I'll go ahead and take that garlic, why not? Get closer to another extra life. We got a spring here, what you want to do? Just walk onto it, you'll be brought up automatically. Just keep walk onto it and keep going right. Can I do this without getting zapped? Well, gee, I guess when I got close enough and hit the uh, continue point, it just stopped sh shooting fireballs at me. Oh well, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. And we got the boomerang throwing ducks again. You could go right here. Instead, you want to jump on these springs after breaking it with the bull hat. And well, you'll want to jump up and to the right. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, okay, we we're good. We're finally good on treasure. All we gotta do now is just find it. This is this is the true reason as to why I wanted the bull hat. So you can get this and then open your way up to here. That is what you want to do. So it's not just for some measly power-ups. Instead, you can just use the bull hat to go to the lower right, get the dragon hat, destroy those blocks, and then you can go to the upper right corner of this room and get the key. We finally have the last treasure of the game in our grasp. So now we should have a 100% completion rate at this point. And inside is the diamond ring. That should be good. We have all 15 treasures. Yes! Finally! Let's see. This is the only place we haven't checked what's in it. It's the garlic. Well, in case you're Big Wario, or one of the other forms, you can go, just go ahead and hit up the lower left corner just to turn back into Bull Wario, and then just go from there. Now we can leave this area and go right. Oh, you have to have the flame going before you can do that. Forgot. 
And we got these platforms, and you want to be very, very careful because they will fall into the lava without prejudice. Thankfully, at least, at least Wario can climb here, though. And you know what? Do yourself a favor. Just use up and right while you jump just to skip that part entirely, if you can. And, well, that's... These, these these platforms are kind of easy once you know what to do. Okay, yeah, because that's instant death lava. Kind of hard to remember that at times, but it is indeed instant death lava. And we're at the end. Just hit the switch. We're good. And we just opened up even more of Syrup Castle, and, well, now it just looks like a giant skull on a trophy. So, yeah, this doesn't look as foreboding as it once was. Tower is fully exposed now. And we're now at the front door. Course number 40, the final course. Ooh, I love this music. I'll go ahead and get both of those things, actually. I didn't even know that was there. Or maybe I did and I just forgot. But yeah, you want to be very careful as you jump from one set of springs to the other. Because, well, it's a long way down. And no, I don't even know why I'm doing that. Just, just avoid that. What is with all these hidden hearts? And no, I'm not going to go ahead and get all these coins. I'm not going to. It's not even worth it. Just not even worth it. So many hearts. There has to be something here. This probably has to be the final continue point. It is. Good. And you know what? I'm just gonna use this as my means of getting over here. And after that long gap, there are a lot of coins that you can grab. They're in the sky and they're in a horizontal position, but they're definitely there. And there's probably got to be some parts in here. Okay, garlic might as well be the same thing since I'm Bull Wario. Okay, um, I want to save that. Because we got that thing running around. And in case I get hit, I want something to fall back on so I don't die. That is what you do against this guy. You want to throw 10 coins at him from behind. He takes three hits. And I just off screen those 10 coins. Oh well, I'll, I'll find more. I'm, I'm not worried. All right, third hit. Good. That, that door that we had over here that was covered by that little skull plate there, it's open now. Now you want to be very careful as you go through this area because of all these fireballs. If you're patient, though, it's going to be worth it. And I want to duck down here. And you know what? Yeah, just knock them right into those little spikes there. Ooh, I got lucky there. And there's the bot. There, there, there it is. This is Captain Syrup. 
When I first played this game, I didn't notice that this was the Captain Syrup that they were talking about in the manual. So, I was confused as I was fighting a beautiful woman. Then I noticed she was actually trying to hurt me with a genie. Alright, grab this... Grab this magic lamp. Avoid the fireballs that the genie shoots at you. You want this thing to land right side up. And right now it's not landing right side up. Land right side up! There's a reason I want this to land right side up, and that is why. And that is to get as many hits on this guy as possible. That's the only way to reach his head. And I lucked out and got some free hits right there. Yeah. And by the way, the uh, if you jump over the fireballs in before the second one lands, I think the second one will home in on your current position. I think. But I know they for a fact that they will home in on your current position. There we go. Ah, only two. You want to also get rid of the uh, little genies that were made by the clouds of smoke that occur when the magic lamp lands right side up, much like that. And after six hits, we got this. And we also get 300 coins. And Captain Serp is very, very angry that we have beaten her. So she tries to blow up the Syrup Castle with us in it. We escape with the magic lamp. But the interesting thing is the tower gets changed to a, a giant statue of Princess Peach. Only for Mario to steal it from us. It's like he was just waiting for us to blow up Syrup Castle. It's like he was going to do it himself, but then... He just decides to pick the bones and grab the statue before we can do anything. Much like Randy Orton at SummerSlam. <laughs> you probably don't watch WWE, whatever. Anyway... Wario rubs the lamp. And now the genie is on our side, just waiting for him to pop up. And he's not a frowning jerk anymore. And he's going to give us one wish. We want a castle! And he needs money in order to make that wish come true. Then again, this is probably why you picked up all these treasures. So that way you can get a better castle. These things have to be worth something. And they are. Oh, wow. And I just double the amount of money that I have just like that. And wow, all these treasures are worth thousands of coins. So our treasure trove is really piling up. Nine thousand coins off of that, whichever it was, I wasn't even paying attention. And we may reach the maximum really quickly. It just depends on how much coins we had at the beginning. Let's see here, we got 70, 57,000 now. 65, okay. It's 
75,000. Okay. Eighty two thousand. Ninety thousand. And ninety five thousand. So we didn't really get that many coins. Now these now this coin total starts coming down. I wonder how high this can go. That's that's how high. Two money bags. Three money bags. Four money bags. Five money bags. That's not bad. That's not bad for this first time around. At least for this particular playthrough. So we give him the money. And where's his magic? Then he tells us to go to the right. And we just go ahead and do it without hesitation because he's a genie. And we actually have our own castle. Wouldn't you know it. And that wraps up Wario Land Super Mario Land 3. What can I really say about this one? Well, it's a rather interesting start to the Wario Land series. There'll be three more games called Wario Land after this, and strangely enough, they would radically deviate from the formula that this game did, with the ability to take alternate paths through a fixed story, not die from touching enemies, and instead gaining abilities. And just brought out more of the regular craziness that is now prevalent in future Wario titles. But as far as this one goes, this one's a solid platformer. It is a bit on the easy side, but then again, this is a Game Boy game. So that's to be expected, especially from a... Game Boy game from the first half of the 90s when we didn't have Super Game Boy yet and everything was played on a pea soup green monitor. Controls work like they should, music's pretty good at times, really good at others. Final boss music is just one of a kind. What else do I want to mention? Collecting treasures really adds to the replay value of the game. And it's actually very, very wonderful. It really gives you a reason to explore some, all of the levels to some extent. And that's basically it. Not much to say about Wario, the first Wario Land game. I mean, it, it, it's a, it's definitely a recommended Game Boy game. I suggest getting it whenever you can. I also like how you had to hit some of the enemies from the back. Two at times. That was rather, in, that was rather ingenious twist on the tackle your opponents to kill them part of the game. I have no idea what I want to do for the next LP, but then again, I never have a good idea on what to do with the next LP, to be quite honest. I'm pretty sure I'll find something. 
I always do. I eventually do it within like a week or so. But I really had a blast doing this one. Definitely was a great deviation from having to do some sort of practice run to make sure I actually knew what I was doing before I played the game. I still had to do some in the end, especially later in the game for this, but other than that, I didn't have to do as many practice runs because, well, I'm used to what the, this game throws at me and it's really not that difficult compared to past games that I've done. So this, that game definitely had something going for it, which really brought, brought up the excitement rating on this one. Really cranked the excitement rating up to 11. And I swear, these credits feel longer than they really are. I'm at 21 minutes already. Oh, we're near the end now. Yokoi Gunpei. R.I.P., buddy. And that's it. We're done. Please retry. Oh, so there's another ending other than this? You're kidding me. Well, believe it or not, there actually is. And the maximum wasn't 99,999 like I wanted you to believe. It's 999,999. So, in order to do that, you're going to have to get 900. Nine, okay, no, you have to get 99,999 coins and all the treasures, and then you have to beat Captain Syrup and the Genie again. That leads to a sixth ending. Which I will show off in an epilogue video, which will come out after this. Which will basically come out in a few days after, say, a after this one. Pretty much like the minigame vid for Tiny Toon Adventures. So, yeah, watch out for that one. I may or may not start another LP while I'm trying to do this. Depends on what I got going on. But I will actually roll this thing out much more timely, unlike the Tiny Toon Adventures minigame video that I did for Buster Bust Loose, which I did all because I found out I forgot all of a sudden. So, yeah. Until then, this is basically it for LP number 26. Mario Land, Super Mario Land 3. So, hopefully I'll have another LP lined up. I'll definitely create a best ending epilogue to this, so to speak. And that that may or may not happen, but I know we'll get get it get the epilogue out more timely. We'll see. About the uh, upcoming LP, the twenty seventh one that I do. So until then, this is Prince Watercrest saying take care, stay safe, thanks for watching, and see you guys later.